the spiritual connection that I have to Mississippi is, is really deeper than anything that I could put into words. It's part of my genetic memory. It's part of who I am. It was a deep-rooted connection to the struggles of those who came before her, one that fueled her life's path, a path that Allison Rennell Brown walked, her ancestors guiding the way. My family all were sharecroppers in Mississippi, in, in Yazoo City before joining the Great Migration to the North, to Indiana, where I was born. She was, in her own words, a shy young girl who would never let her mother get too far from her. Lifted by her mother and guided by her great-grands, Allison grew to embrace her genius, her wisdom, and the fire within her. Her sense of community and commitment was embedded in everything she did as a lawyer, a leader, a philanthropist, and a mother. Her children, Masai and Zora, were her shining stars. The reason she fought so hard in everything she did. Allison consistently fought for justice, racial justice, youth justice, education justice. As a trial lawyer for the U.S. Department of Justice's Civil Rights Division, it was her case in Meridian, Mississippi, that broke open the school to prison pipeline blazing a trail and laying the groundwork for that fight, which continues today. Allison poured her entire self into dismantling anti-Blackness that is too pervasive in public education. Yes. <laughs> her belief that Black and Brown children should be free to thrive in schools that are safe and equitable eventually brought her to the CJSF, the Communities for Just Schools Fund, she served as executive director, helping to advance educational opportunities for traditionally underserved students. Allison could always see the world that existed on the other side of the status quo. Her positivity in the fight for education and youth justice was unwavering. We will win safe, healthy, equitable schools, absolutely. But in October 2017, her strength and resolve were put to the test. Allison began a fierce battle with cancer. Hurt and hardship challenged her faith and healing. What I want the world to know about Allison Brown is that she was a fierce, unique warrior. The best way that we can honor her is by continuing the fight. Allison's spirit lives on in her children, in the hearts and minds of cherished family, friends, and colleagues. And in her legacy, a legacy dedicated to ensuring all students have the educational experiences and opportunities they deserve. And just as she stood on the shoulders of those who came before her, it is upon the shoulders of Alice and Rennell Brown that others shall stand in the future. Thank you all so much for being here, for being a part of this conversation. And please, please, please keep fighting, keep pushing. Take care of yourselves.